Hey everyone, Mo is going to show us how to set up basic calling and phones using WebEx Control Hub. Okay, now we are going to set up uh, basic calling configuration in the Cisco WebEx Control Hub and also set up devices and phones here. First, let's go to calling and we're going to add phone numbers or DIDs to our control hub. Before we do that, we want to make sure that our service setting is correct. Uh, here, um, we have the choice of choosing local gateway or a cloud connected PSDN. Uh, in this setup, I'm using Antilope here as my cloud connected PSDN. So that's correct. Now we go over to the numbers, and here we can add uh, phone numbers. We can do multiple phone numbers or add single phone numbers one time. In this case, I'm going to add two phone numbers. I want to make sure that there's a comma between the phone numbers. Click validate, validate it, and click save, and the numbers will be added here. As you can see, some of these numbers are already assigned to users. Uh, you can delete the numbers here. Uh, if you want to delete, if you want to assign the phone number to a user, you can go to the users. You can choose a specific user, as we've seen before. You can go to the calling section and uh, edit the calling. And provide a phone number. This user does not have WebEx calling enabled right now. So you can enable the WebEx calling and then we can choose one of those new phone numbers that we added and assign it to this user. Now let's look at adding a device or a phone to Control Hub. And we come here to the device section. As you can see, I already have one phone added here. We can add uh, devices. We can add devices for existing users or assign devices to a user, or we can add workspace um, devices for common spaces. Uh, here I'm going to choose a workspace. Uh, I don't have any existing workspace. I'm going to create a new workspace. I'm going to call it the break room. Click next. I'm going to choose Cisco IP phone. And I'm going to enable a Cisco 8851. So if the device have not previously been uh, activated in uh, Cisco WebEx Control Hub, uh, when you turn on the device, you will see that it will prompt for an activation code. So you can choose by activation code here, click next. For uh, a, a common area, you can either choose a, a direct DID, so it can be reachable from outside, or you can just choose an extension. I'm going to give it an extension. It's going to provide me with an activation code. Now my device is prompting for any activation code. I just enter this activation code on the phone that is turned on and it's prompting for activation code and the phone will be activated in sight. And now we're ready to, to add this device. We're going to go through this one more time. Is to add a device by MAC address. If you have a device that previously been added to um, Control Hub, uh, but have been deleted, next time you turn on the phone, it will not prompt for an activation code. Here you can just add that device's MAC address, and then that device will be activated here in the uh, WebEx Control Hub. As you can also see, you can choose an existing user. Once you choose a user, you can um, search for that user, click next. Again, choose what type of device or what phone. And very similar to common area, you can either enable it by um, activation. This user already has a device pending activation, um, or you can choose by MAC address. When a device is added, uh, you can come here, you can manage the device, you can delete the device, or you can reboot that 
that device.